Esther 3.12a Vayikara u sofre hamelech bachodesh harishon bishlosha asar yom bo. So we only have the A part of the verse here. You can see we go up to the segolta. This is a pretty long verse, so we're just going to look at this first part and break it down into three parts, I think. Uh, we have here at the beginning the nifal imperfect third masculine plural, and the root is kara, as you can see there. Notice the nifal preformative here, and then the r1 dagesh, pretty standard for the nifal. The vav consecutive here would be the next thing in line with the narrative. So we have here the subject as the scribes of the king. So you can see Sefer here, book, or Safar to write, Sofre, the scribes of the king, masculine plural construct there, and this serves as the subject. So the scribes of the king, now notice this nifal, were called or were summoned. You hear that passive nifal. Then we get a couple of prepositional phrases indicating when they were called. So we get a temporal bait here in or on the month, the first one, so the first month, on the three and ten, so three plus ten here is thirteen, Let's see if I can get my math roll in there, thirteen day, and so this would be thirteen in terms of a day, so you might say something like thirteen days, into the month, which would be the 13th day of the month. Now, I say it like that because we don't formally have uh, an ordinal number here, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 13th, like that. But what we get is on the 13th, in terms of a day, into this month. And we can notice that with the prepositional phrase here at the end, in it, there's the third masculine singular, which refers back to chodesh, which is a masculine segalit noun.